The Committee of Trade started its investigations into the misappropriation of the supplementary budget of 54.5 billion shillings, which was given to Ministry of Trade in the last financial year. The money included 5 billion shillings, which was meant for renting since the building in which the ministry is seated was condemned. Ministry of Trade instead decided to renovate the building with a procurement of 6.2 billion shillings, which is against the law. They committed government into a multi-year expenditure, uh, giving a contract of 6 billion, yet they did not have the 6 billion, uh, therefore committing without asking for parliament authorization. Uh, they gave a contract through direct procurement. The third query is the um, Minister of Works did a BOQ of renovation to cost 3.1 billion, but the figure was later inflated to 6.2 billion. No one seems to know how it got to 6.2 billion. Uh, the person who in entered the BOQs into the system claims that he was also removed from the system and transferred. The procurement officer says he was also transferred. The permanent secretary, Ms. Geraldine Sali, was to meet the committee today, but she notified them by a letter that she was occupied with other official obligations and had previously submitted her opinions on the subject. We have also submitted all the documentation you asked for in relation to the above and have heard from all my ministry's officials and other relevant ministries on the matter. I therefore believe you have sufficient information to make your final decision. This is a letter signed by Geraldine Sali um, to this committee. According to the witnesses who included the former procurement officer, the permanent secretary changed the procurement from 1.3 billion to 6.2 billion shillings, and when they advised her otherwise, they were removed and changed offices. We needed a higher version of the vehicle. Then we submitted another letter to Minister of Public Service, where they approved four vehicles of 4,500 cc, and one for PS was maintained to be a Prado. Um, we proceeded with the action, with the process of the requisition came on board. And um, one time, um, the new peers requested me to go to one of the bonds before we advertised. That. On the 20th of June, 2022, I was at the office of the president for a meeting. As I was coming... PA to the PS called me and said she wanted to see me very urgently. I thought I'm not in office, but I'm coming. But as soon as I reach office, I called. When I reached, I called. Only to come to my office with a pre-written internal memo of 6.8 million, million, which she required million me. Or billion? No, no, of 4.8 of 4 4 billion. 4.8 billion, sorry, Chair which she kindly requested me to, to sign. I told her in it, this is not uh, how they operate. If this is in respect of payment for the renovations, it is different from what I have handled myself. Because... The procurement which I submitted myself is of 3.1 billion. The committee has also discovered that the procured five cars were not new cars, as stated by the permanent secretary, and costed way more than the actual prices. Did this vehicle that were supplied, they were erratic because to Land Cruiser have got a version of VXR, which is the highest version. Then we have got VAX with the middle version, then I've got VX, GXR with the lower version. Now, when you see the vehicle that was supplied to Minister of Trade. The committee decided through the Speaker of Parliament to summon the Permanent Secretary as every investigation pointed to her. To summon the, the peers through the Speaker. More to that, Chair, I don't know whether you have seen these chassis numbers. Most of these vehicles are 2019. I don't know whether you have real. Even a fool can Google to find out about all of these vehicles. These are model 2019, whereby even the cost price is only 400 million. 
And the minister bought them at 600 million? No. People, it's better really you respect your government. It's very shameful. That the ministry received 5 billion to do renovation, to, to, do, to rent new premises which they changed into, uh, which, whose work plan was changed into renovation. They further received 3 billion and another 2 billion. So that makes a total of 10 billion. However, right now we're only getting accountability for only 5 billion, and the other 5 billion is unaccounted for. All the people we have met seem to be unaware of the rest of the money. They seem to be pointing fingers at the PS. And it's upon this background that we have asked, uh, the members have agreed to summon the PS. Should she fail to appear the next time, uh, we shall have to ask police to arrest her. The Trade Committee is expected to present its report on the floor of Parliament next week. Samlanifa, Smart24 TV, Business Today.